Hello and welcome to my fourth lecture on biostatistics. In this lecture, I will be going over relative risk and odds ratio. Relative risk versus odds ratio. Calculating a risk means looking forward and dealing with data from a perspective or cohort study. We already know the exposure and we are curious as to the outcome. We're basically calculating the risk in the exposed group over the risk in the unexposed group. So risk means comparing exposures. Case control studies look backwards and we know what happened, we just wanna know the odds of exposure in diseased people over the odds of exposure in non-diseased people. Relative risk calculation involves about three steps. The first is dividing the exposed diseased subjects by all exposed subjects. The second step involves dividing non-exposed diseased subjects by all non-exposed subjects. And relative risk is obtained by dividing one by two. And I'm going to go over a word problem example, and this is also to highlight why tables don't work. And also memorizing formulas with variables also don't work, because you have to know the configuration exactly of the table that you memorized the formula from, and you have to make sure that in the problem that you're given, that the table is given exactly the same. So, in a study of a thousand purple men, 500 are found to be exposed to purple light. As they are followed over six years, it is found that 200 exposed men have developed purple spots. Of the unexposed men, only one has developed purple spots. For our first expression, we want to take the exposed disease and divide it by all exposed. So, in the first, sorry, the third line, we are told that 200 exposed men have developed purple spots. So we got 200 people who were exposed to purple light and who have purple spots, and that's our numerator. Our denominator is the 500 total who were exposed, and that we get from our first line. Our second expression is the non-exposed diseased subjects. And the non-exposed diseased is only one, and we get that from the last line that says, of the expo unexposed men, only one has developed purple spots. The total non-exposed is the 500 purple men who were not exposed. And we get that 500 by subtracting 100 purple men total minus the 500 who were exposed. So our relative risk is 200 over 500 divided by 1 over 500. Our odds ratio is more crude than relative risk. So you're basically comparing the odds of having been exposed in the diseased versus the non-diseased. You create two ratios. The first is the disease exposed over the disease not exposed. The second is the non-diseased exposed over the non-diseased not exposed. Notice that there are no totals involved in this process. So my example for odds ratio is, in a study of 2,000 men, there are 100 spotted men, sorry, in a study of 2,000 men, there are 1,000 spotted men, 800 of which are found to have been exposed to purple light. Of the 1,000 non-spotted men, only 100 have been found to have been exposed to the purple light. So you take the disease non-exposed, you take the disease exposed, divide it by the disease non-exposed, and that's 800 over 200. 800 we get because 800 of the spotted men have been found to actually have been exposed to the lights. 200 we get because a thousand spotted men of a thousand spotted men, since 800 were exposed you have to infer that 200 weren't. So that's where we get the 200 from. The second ratio is non-disease exposed over non-diseased non-exposed. The 100 we get from the last line, which says that 100 have been found, 
Of a thousand non-spotted men, only a hundred have been found to have been exposed to the purple light. And the 900 that we have in the denominator, we infer because a thousand were non-spotted or non-diseased. A hundred of those were exposed, so that means by inference, a thousand minus 100 or 900 had to have not had exposure. And our odds ratio is thus 4 divided by 0.11111. I want to just end by reminding you that you should not memorize formulas or tables. Relative risk, remember, you're using cohort prospective studies. And remember that H is for home, where your relatives should be, and you're looking forward. Odds ratios are using case controls. You, you are looking backward, and there are no totals in the denominator, since we're looking at a ratio. That is the end of my lecture on odds ratio and relative risk. Please like and comment and subscribe to my channel.